Okay, everyone, let's take a look at Chapter 9, PLC and System Maintenance. The maintenance of a PLC must be carefully documented for future reference. PLC maintenance is performed after the application is stopped and a lockout slash tagout is applied. PLC hardware maintenance is work performed by a technician that consists of a visual inspection of a PLC, energized maintenance procedures, and battery maintenance. A visual inspection of a PLC and PLC related components is part of the PLC hardware maintenance. Proper personnel protective equipment or PPE must be used when performing energized maintenance on a PLC. Backup batteries for the CPU of a PLC can be behind the hinge door or cover of the CPU or mounted on the processor card. A PC, an interface cable, and sometimes an interface card are required to connect a PC to a PLC and use the PLC programming software. A documented program contains address, descriptions, instruction comments, run comments, and page titles. When connecting a PC to a PLC, the technician must be aware of certain technical issues and follow a series of steps. PLCs have electrically erasable programmable read-only memory or EEPROM chips to provide a backup to RAM memory. After the machine or the process is started, the PLC program must be copied to a separate medium and stored in a safe location. And that was it for that chapter. Next chapter will be chapter 10, troubleshooting PLCs and test instruments, and I will see you over there.